Welcome to this 20 minute vinyasa flow. Please begin by laying down relaxed with your arms by your side, palms facing up. Begin to lengthen and deepen your breath. Connecting with your breath and drawing yourself into this present moment. Deep, slow breathing. Placing your left palm on your lower abdomen and with your right hand, bring it to your heart. Feel how the body subtly lifts and lowers with every in and exhale. Close your eyes and just focus on the breath. Not controlling your breath, but allowing yourself to fully inhale and to fully exhale each time. On your next inhalation, engage your core and gently lift your knees into the chest, embracing your knees and drawing them closer towards you. If it feels good for you, you can gently rock from side to side, releasing your weight into those hips and allowing yourself to go a little deeper. Gently massaging your lumbar spine and warming up your hip flexors. Now bringing the soles of your feet together and allowing the knees to open as you move into reclined butterfly. Placing your open palms at the hips. Taking a deep breath in and also a moment to set an intention for this class, maybe this day, or even your life in general. Taking a moment just to focus on that intention as you take a deep breath in and fill your lungs. Use your exhale to release any unwanted tension. On your next inhale, open both arms out at the shoulder and lift and lower your right knee over and across towards the left. Moving into this gentle spinal twist, turn your head to the right side. Take a deep breath into the stretch and as you exhale, allow yourself to release any tension. Maintaining a deep and steady slow breath here in our gentle spinal twist. Now let's bring those knees up together to center and over and across towards the right side. As you do this, you can turn your head across to the left side and again settling in, closing your eyes and lengthening the breath here. On your next inhale, gently bring your head back to center and allow the knees to do the same. Engaging your core, bring your arms down by your side, lift yourself up onto your elbows and on the exhale, move your way into fish pose, dropping the head down and relaxing the neck, lifting your chest up high and again, just gentle, slow breathing here. This pose provides a beautiful decompression of the neck and shoulder area. Engaging your core, inhale as you lift your head back up and then slowly bring yourself all the way up into a seated position. With your feet grounded to the floor and your legs bent, take your thighs from behind and begin to move through some seated cat cows. Exhale as you push your spine back, drop your head forward and inhale as you extend forward with your chest and drop your head back. Moving to the rhythm of your in and exhale and try to be as fluid through the spinal movements as you can.
final breath here in your seated cat cow and then drop your hands behind you. Cross your feet at the ankle and then tuck those legs behind you as you transition into a high plank. Moving through our first chaturanga of the practice, you can drop your knees, then chest and chin, and then slide your way forward on an inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, lift those hips, press those heels down and move into downward facing dog. Through the hand to floor connection, apply some gentle pressure into those hips and gently pull those heels down. Make sure that your neck is relaxed. Let's take a deep breath in to begin, and then on the exhale, swivel both heels to the right, bend deep into your knees and drop your hips down to the ankles. Inhale as you come back to center and exhale as you swivel across to the other side. One more time, each side. Moving your way back to your downward facing dog, inhale as you lift your left leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, drop that leg back and stack your hips, keeping your shoulders and upper body square. On the exhale, bring that left foot in between the hands and lift yourself up to crescent lunge. Extend your upper body up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in here and on that exhale, drop your back heel down and move to warrior two. Inhale as you reverse that warrior, sweeping that left arm back behind you. Work the obliques as you extend that front leg and then rotate yourself forward again, moving into triangle. Let's take a deep breath in here, shoulders stacked and hips stacked. Exhale, bend back into that front knee, moving into warrior two just for a breath and then calm down and move into extended side angle. If you want to go even deeper, you can drop your left fingertips down to the floor beside your foot. Inhale back to warrior two and exhale as you cartwheel your hands down. Stepping back, you can keep that leg extended and zip the body back together as you move into an upward facing dog. And exhale, lift those hips up and move yourself back to downward facing dog. Inhale as your right leg lifts to three-legged dog. Let's move straight into the other side. So stacking those hips, keeping your shoulders square, core engaged. Straightening out back to three-legged dog and then stepping that right foot in between the hands and lifting yourself up into crescent lunge. Deep breath in as you extend your arms up towards the sky. Exhale as you drop that left heel down and move into warrior two. On your exhale, reverse your warrior, keeping your core tightly engaged. Both arms extended and now extend your front leg too. Core strong and straight here as you bring yourself forward, dropping your right hand down beside your right ankle and moving into triangle. Hips stacked, shoulders stacked and looking up towards the sky and hand if you can. Inhale as you move into that right knee, coming back into warrior two and then transitioning into side angle. Elbow to knee or drop your fingertips down beside your right ankle as well if you want to go deeper. Engage your core and lift yourself back to warrior two. Inhale and exhale as you cartwheel the hands down. Extend your right leg back behind you and zip the body back together on the inhale as you move into upward facing dog. Exhale, push your hips back and move to downward facing dog. Inhale through the left leg as you lift to three-legged dog. Exhale as you stack and open your hips and allow your left leg to fall back behind you. Begin to transition into your wild thing. Dropping that left foot down to the ground and lift up through those hips. Slowly lower your hips on an exhale and inhale as you lift your hips. Let's repeat that two more times, moving to the rhythm of your own in an exhale. 
final time and hold. Now bring your left leg over the other side of your extended right leg and move into a gentle spinal twist. Looking back behind you and just keeping your breath deep. Let's take one more deep breath in together here and on the exhale, return back to center, lifting through the left arm and drawing it down, hands down and step back to high plank. And moving through our chaturanga, inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Let's move into the other side. So let's inhale as we lift our right leg to three-legged dog. Stacking those hips and slowly allowing that right foot to come down to the ground. Inhale as you lift those hips and move into wild thing. Exhale, drop those hips down. And inhale as you lift them back up. Again, repeat twice more. final time let's come back down and move back into that gentle spinal twist right foot on the other side of your extended left leg and looking back behind you over your right shoulder breathe deeply here into your chest compression Now let's begin to slowly unravel by allowing your torso to come back to center. Lift your right arm and drop it down beside the left and move back to high plank and through your chaturanga. Inhale as you move to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Now gently begin to walk up the central line of your yoga mat, making your way up towards your hands at the front. Take your time as you walk your way to your hands and each step lower that heel down. Move your way into those hips. Once you make it to the front, feet side by side and move into your forward fold, taking each opposite elbow and gently rocking from side to side. Make sure that your neck is fully relaxed. Inhale as you bend into those knees and roll up to stand up. Engage your core and take a gentle back bend. Inhale. And exhale as you bring your hands to heart in Samastiti. Inhale, lift your left knee and move your way into Warrior Three, extending that left leg back behind you and extending your upper body forwards. Hands interlaced and with your index fingers pointing forward. Now gently release and bring your left knee back up again and move your way down into a standing pigeon. Keeping your hands in prayer and releasing as much weight as you can into those hips. Core engaged and spine straight. On your next inhale, lift your left knee up and extend it again back behind you, this time moving into crescent lunge. Take a deep expansive inhale as you lift up through the upper body. Exhale, bring your hands down and move through your chaturanga, keeping that right leg elevated, zipping the body back together and inhaling to upward facing dog and exhale as you push yourself back to downward facing dog. Moving straight into the other side as we begin to step our way back up to the front of the mat. When you get up to the front, keep your feet parallel and move into your forward fold, again taking each opposite elbow and a gentle rock from side to side. Gently release, bringing your fingertips down to the ground. Inhale as you bend into your knees and gently release on the exhale, moving into another gentle back bend. 
inhale coming back to center exhale lifting that right knee and then extending it back behind you as you move into warrior three core strength balance and control in action here making sure your hips are balanced taking a deep breath in and engaging your core as you lift your right knee up coming back to a standing position and moving your way into a standing pigeon allow yourself to release your weight into those hips and move yourself deeper into the pose On your next inhale, let's release, bringing your right knee up and then extending it back, coming into crescent lunge. Inhale as you extend up towards the sky and bring your hands down on the exhale. Moving through our chaturanga and keeping that left leg elevated, zip the body back together on the inhale to upward facing dog. And on the exhale, let's come to child's pose, relaxing your neck and allowing your forehead to come down to the mat. Close your eyes and take this moment to reconnect to your breathing. I'm going to give you the option here to come into camel pose with me. If you wish to join me, open your knees out to hips width. Tilt your pelvic bowl forwards, spine straight and core engaged. Slowly lower the left hand to the left ankle. And if you feel ready, you can do the same through the right side. If in full camel, extend yourself forward through the hips and lift up through the chest, relax the neck. Let's all take one more deep breath in here and then on the exhale, release, bring your bum down to the heels and move your way into a wide knee child's pose. Allow yourself to release and relax in this pose. Come back to your breathing deep and slow, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhale. Option here to join me for a puppy pose, so knees under hips and extend forward through the upper body, gently lowering the chest down and chin to the ground looking forward. Let's take one more deep breath in and then on the exhale, bringing your elbows down, lowering your hips and moving into Sphinx pose. Gently rock your hips from side to side here, releasing the lumbar spine and allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper into the lower back. Take one more deep breath in here and then on the exhale, bringing your hands down and slowly lowering your forehead to the hands. If you have sore knees, just stay as you are. If you would like to join me, take your right foot with your right hand and draw that heel towards the glute muscle. As we take a moment to just release the thigh and frontal leg, let's release and move straight into the other side, drawing your left heel towards the glute. And exhale, release. Let's come into our final resting pose, pressing your way back and into child's pose. Here, just allow the weight of your body to fully relax into the pose. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your breathing. 